roster has been cut down significantly. You're one of the few guys here. So, so what does that mean to you? What does that say to you about your chances right now? I mean, I still have confidence in myself, and I'm going to make it as hard as I can on the coaching staff to uh, send me down. You know, I mean, that's why I feel like I'm here right now. I feel like I've played well enough to deserve to be here, and uh, I'm going to keep playing the way I can play, and whatever happens, happens. Where is your confidence level out at, especially at the end of last year, coming into now, getting a full training camp? Like, where do you feel like your confidence is at? I feel like it's a lot higher now. I mean, especially coming in last year, I felt like I was pretty bright-eyed walking in here. I mean, obviously, a 20-year-old coming out of college. I was pretty starstruck seeing all the guys in the locker room, but getting that 10 games in that month last year helped me out tremendously, I'd say. And uh, coming in this year, I definitely felt a lot more comfortable. I didn't wasn't introducing myself to every guy on the team. Most of the guys knew me already, so it was uh, it's pretty easy to come in. Where do you think you've shown the most improvement this preseason? I feel like my skating's been uh, one of the strongest parts of my game so far. I mean, last year playing those 10 games, I started to figure out that I can start to use my skating more and. At the college level, I didn't really use it as much as uh, to my advantage, I feel like. And I feel like uh, I mean, at the NHL level, I've used it uh, a lot more. Why, why would you not have used your skating to your advantage as much? I don't know. I just didn't have confidence in myself. And then I got here, and I don't know, the confidence just skyrocketed. Why would that? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I don't know why that would be. Yeah. It's just I always had people tell me I wasn't a very good skater. And, you know, I never really, never really listened to anybody, obviously. <laughs> but obviously, it's in the back of your mind a little bit. But... Yeah. I just feel like I've shut everybody out and not really cared what other people are thinking now. What was one of the pointers that the Rangers told you that they wanted you to work on over the summer, if there were any? Just get stronger, obviously. Get more mature. I mean, obviously, I'm a young guy. I mean, coming in, we got a lot of younger guys here, which have, has helped me tremendously become more mature in the short time that I've been here. But uh, definitely getting stronger was the biggest thing. Hypothetically speaking, if you were to begin the season in Hartford, how would you approach that sort of assignment? I'd take it. I think of the word I'm saying. Uh, take it with a grain of salt, but at the same time, you know, I think I deserve to play in the NHL, and if I get sent down, I'm not going to complain about it. I'm not going to be mad. I'm going to go down there and work as hard as I can to try to get myself back up to the NHL. So we asked Gallant uh, a couple days ago, you know, if you make it, can you play the right side? And he didn't seem inclined to play you on the right side. He, you know, he, he would play you on the left and move somebody else. Um, can you play the right side? I mean, does that matter to you at all? Not at all. I played the right side growing up my whole life. When I first switched to defense, I was a right, right-hand defenseman, so yeah. it doesn't affect me at all, whatever, whatever side I play. Is it, does, the, does it feel like, I don't know, if the pressure's ramped up or anything? Like, when you look around and you're kind of counting, I'm sure in your head you try not to, but, like, okay, there's this many spots left, but there's this many guys here. Like, like what's this feeling for you, like, at this point, now that it's kind of getting down to the nitty-gritty? It's been awesome. You know, I've been just trying to work as hard as I can, and, you know, it's not up to me at this point. You know, I'm not trying to predict the future or anything like that. I'm just trying to come in and uh, work as hard as I can and, you know, make a great impression on the coaching staff and the management and, you know, whatever happens after that, happens. In, in a tryout situation, you have two games, two preseason games left. But in a tryout situation, how do you avoid, like, not trying to do too much to show them? You know what I mean? Like, you, you, got, you still got to play your game, but you also have to show stuff. So how do you, how do you approach that? I just come in and play my game. I mean... My whole life, I've pretty much, when I don't play well is when I try to do things that I'm not good at, when I try to get physical or try to, you know, be a mean person out there, quote unquote. But when I just play my game and do that, I feel like I'm uh, pretty solid out there. So it's, that's how I do it, I guess.